Hi, my name is Hank Ayers with GPM Hydraulic Consulting, the nation's leader in hydraulic training, troubleshooting, and reliability assessments. Today I'd like to talk about something called pilot chokes, or pilot flow controls, if you will. There's a lot of misconceptions about these. Many people think that these control the actual speed of a cylinder or a motor. That if you back these all the way out, that your cylinder or motor will move at maximum speed, and that's just not the case. In reality, what this valve is for is to control the rate at which the main spool in these two-stage hydraulically piloted valve shift. Many times these will be used, and you know it's a hydraulic, you know it's a pilot flow control or a pilot choke whenever you have your sandwich block right here is mounted between the pilot valve and the main stage valve. Case in point, we had a sawmill several months ago located down in Florida that was having extreme shock problems on their step feeder system. In other words, what would happen is whenever they would reverse the cylinder on their step feeder, they were breaking clamps on these big two inch pressure lines. In fact, at times the shock had gotten so bad that they had even blown a counterbalance valve out of a block mounted below this valve. And that's because somebody thought that if they backed these flow controls all the way out, that that would make their step feeder move faster. It would make their cylinders extend and retract faster. And that's the misconception I was talking about. We do use flow controls to flow control the speed of cylinders and hydraulic motors, but those flow controls will be mounted between the pump and the main stage of this valve, not between the pilot and the main stage. So what we did at this particular sawmill is we went out and we looked at the pilot flow controls or the pilot chokes and found that they were both backed out. Now they have tried everything in the world to get this shock problem straightened out. But they didn't know that all they needed to do was adjust these to straighten out their problem. We adjusted the pilot flow controls, their shock problem went away. If you found this tip helpful, visit our website at www.gpmhydraulic.com for other helpful hints. And be sure to check out our two-part hydraulic troubleshooting programs.